Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here. In the first chapter that is unconventional machining processes, we have discussed the process electrochemical machining that is based on chemical energy involved. Right? So in electrochemical machining in previous session, we have discussed the construction working and principle of metal removal. So once again I repeat the principle of electrochemical machining. So when you connect your tool with the cathode and workpiece with the anode and electrolyte is filled in that particular setup, what happens? There will be a removal of material from the workpiece and it will try to deposit on the tool. But due to continuous circulation of your electrolyte, your material can be removed in the filter. So our purpose is to remove the material from your or say to remove or to cut the material right so here based on this principle in today's session we are going to discuss the process that is ECG electrochemical grinding so this process is an extended concept of electrochemical machining so here also material removed is from the principle of chemical energy right but here one thing is different and we will discuss the principle of ECG process in this session right so let us start our discussion on electrochemical grinding process so here from this view I am explaining the principle of the electrochemical grinding so here as per the name electrochemical grinding this process is combination of two things First one is electrochemical machining and second one is conventional grinding, right? So we all are familiar with the grinding process that is with the grinding wheel. So we can do the finishing of any workpiece or remove a thin layer with help of abrasive grinding wheel. So this grinding process is also included in electrochemical grinding right so once again i repeat ecg is nothing but it is electrochemical grinding and here material removal will be from two principles first one is electrochemical machining that we have discussed based on chemical energy and second is conventional grinding right so here electrolyte is also used right so let us start our discussion and a uh, view for the electrochemical grinding so here i mentioned the view principal image for the electrochemical grinding so here electrolyte is supplied in this process here you have to uh, provide the electric supply or voltage or say potential difference so as per our discussion your tool will be connected with the cathode and workpiece with the anode so here grinding wheel is used as a cathode and your workpiece as a anode right so here i mentioned the cathode and anode connection that is with help of dc power supply so here your grinding wheel acts as a tool or say it is a cathode and workpiece will be our anode and electrolyte is supplied between this grinding wheel and your workpiece right so how material can be removed so before uh, discuss on working here i mentioned the construction and components details so here grinding wheel is used dc power supply is also connected here workpiece feed mechanism is also there electrolyte circulation mechanism or say pump filter is also there and here is one uh, reservoir that is of electrolyte right so here i mentioned the general construction for the electrochemical grinding right so your grinding wheel will be mounted on spindle and bearing setup so let us start our discussion so as yes, for our discussion uh, components are mentioned here so let us start our discussion on working so here as for our discussion workpiece is there your tool that is nothing but your grinding wheel dc power supply is there electrolyte pump filter setup your nozzle is also there right so as per our discussion here material can be removed with help of two principle first one is the electrochemical machining principle that we have discussed in ecm process and second is with conventional grinding that is by physical contact between your grinding wheel and your workpiece right 
so here what happens actually so when you switch on the current in the setup what happens your grinding wheel will work as a cathode and your workpiece as an anode so when you switch on the current what happens the material from the workpiece will try to deposit on the tool it means workpiece material will be removed from the upper surface due to this current supply and it will be combined with the negative and positive ion so negative and positive ion will try to deposit on either of the anode or cathode and your material will be removed and will be the metallic salt it means your metal will be removed and will be the metallic salt and this type of scrap will be separated from the filter so here one thing is very important instead of to here we are using the grinding wheel so what happens when you feed your workpiece against grinding wheel what happens there will be some material removal with help of grinding wheel also right so when grinding wheel will be in contact with your workpiece there will be a material removal also but major material removal around 80 to 90% will be from the electrochemical machining concept right so here what happens your material will be removed and this with less effort or with very low effort you can cut the material with help of grinding wheel because here your material will be removed in major part with help of electrochemical machining right so here i mention all this working for the electrochemical grinding so here a small gap will maintain between your workpiece or say your grinding wheel and your workpiece so here i mention the various parameters that you should maintain during the process so here i mention the various effect or the process parameters for electrochemical grinding so first one is the current density so it is obvious that when you increase the current supply your material removal rate will increase right so when you increase your current density or current ampere your material removal rate will increase so here i also mention the electrolyte so what will be the effect of electrolytes here i mention the electrolyte general points so temperature of electrolyte is very important so it should be in range between generally 20 to 30 degree celsius right so electrolyte rate or say discharge of electrolyte is also maintained so here i also mention that digit and here generally acidic solutions like nacl in the water is used as a electrolyte right so this, that composition is very important so in a uh, certain liter of water you can add your material or say your acid or say electrolyte material and you can make the solution that works as a electrolyte feed rate is also important so what do you mean by feed rate so when you feed your workpiece against your grinding wheel it is known as a movement of your workpiece with respect to your tool that is grinding wheel right so generally the maximum depth of cut is taken as around 2 mm right so your workpiece can be fed in a, a certain depth of cut right so this limit is known as a depth of cut right so you can feed your workpiece step by step against your grinding wheel so this process is electrochemical grinding so here the main advantage of this process is with less effort or with less grinding force you can remove the material because here with help of electrochemical concept your material can be removed right so here i mention the, all the advantages for the electrochemical grinding so as per our discussion for this process the tolerance uh, after the process or say the tolerance you get is very high so you can achieve close tolerances from 0.3 to 0.5 micrometer that is surface finish right so here i mentioned that digit also so here uh, any hard material or any higher hardness material can be worked with help of this process right so here electrochemical grinding is very useful for any hard material machining right so here uh, distortion of tool is very less because there will be no such a bending force or higher pressure acting on the tool right so here i mentioned all the points uh, regarding the electrochemical grinding so there will be some limitation also 
your costing or the initial costing for the setup is very high because you have to set the workpiece movement that is a workpiece feeding mechanism at the same time your uh, grinding wheel mounting is very important so you have to mount your grinding wheel in spindle and bearing setup so this type of arrangement will be costly so initial costing is bit higher but here i also mentioned the non metallic materials cannot be worked so here you must go for metal or some metallic materials right so with help of the electrolyte or by direct contact of the uh, acidic solution that is electrolyte with your grinding wheel so there will be a chances of some corrosion or say damage to your tool or say grinding wheel right due to contact with electrolyte so there are many applications as per our discussion any complex or intricate shape with close tolerances you can achieve or say you can machine or cut the material with close tolerances and the main advantage is any hard material like tungsten carbide or say tool tip for the single point cutting tool that can be also machined with the electrochemical grinding so here i mentioned the various applications for the electrochemical grinding process so this is all about the chemical energy based process that is electrochemical machining and electrochemical grinding thank you all of you